honey, another day in paradise in beautiful Las Vegas. We are so happy to be here. I love the weather, a little humid, but I like anything below 105 degrees, I think, so I'm all good. Anyway, well, the medium price home went down again. We're going to talk about that in a second. But we have 8,979 available homes in, in our zip codes. Again, we don't do Boulder City. We don't do Pahrump. We don't do Mesquite. Uh, we kind of center in on where we do most of our sales. Yeah. And we listed 170 single family homes yesterday. 72 of them were 470 and under, which gives us 2,545 single homes active available. And uh, that's 36% of our available homes. Now we have <laughs> 75 days of inventory. Isn't that wonderful? And actually, if you go into, if you, now what I'm doing is I'm using the uh, average sales. Let me show you here. Year to date, where's my little pointer? There we go. We're, it's um, 118. Uh, average sales a day, year to date. So I use that figure to figure out how many days of inventory we have. Um, if I were to use what we did in July, it would be uh, probably 102 or something because <clears throat> we only did 86 homes uh, in July so per day. So anyway, um, and uh, I like to do the previous month. Anyway, uh, so along we go. We're still doing $5 million homes a day, everybody. That hasn't changed. So those people are still coming in and buying those homes or people are cashing out their equity and buying those homes. And uh, <laughs> good idea, huh? <laughs> um, what else is going on? That's, that's it. You're, you're closing. You closed 140 yesterday. That's really good. And that'll help that number because the sales daily now are 76. So if we keep getting up there in the three digits, we'll change that sales daily from 76 up to maybe uh, maybe in the 80s, 90s, or even hundreds. That would be great. You know, July, we have July. There's lots of vacations. There's lots of, there's a holiday. And then, um, so it, it plays with the numbers a little bit. So I'm glad July's over <laughs> for many reasons. So let's see. I think that's it for the stats. Now, let's look here at... This. Yes. So I ran, I ran the sales price median so far this month. This is just, you know, the sales we've done this month, but it's 468. In the first three days, it's gone down 2000 from what July was 470. And that went down 15,000 from June. And if you look up here at January, people who bought a home in January <clears throat> for 435,000 medium price, I don't think they're going to get hurt. I think we might we might get down to 450. We'll see. But I don't think I think that July is probably going to be like that pivotal month, if you will. But I, I truly believe that um, we have pent up demand of buyers. That's just the way it is. And a lot of millennials are buying homes. We're going to look at some stats here in a minute. But and people are moving here. So I really don't believe that we're going to go too low. I don't think we're going to go below 450. We shall see if, if I'm wrong, hopefully we don't go below 435. That means everybody that bought a home this year is good. Uh, <laughs> at least as far as, uh, we don't want to see short sales back again. I know I was talking to Aaron Taylor and, and his son, Jacob, Jacob Taylor now kind of taking over things, uh, uh, a little bit. And I think they both think the short sales are coming back. I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. And so uh, to that point, I brought up some segue in here a little bit to some research resource tools for you. 